Hello everyone and welcome back to Earthbound Beginnings aka OG Mother. In the last episode I left you right here in the factory where I just picked up a freaking bottle rocket. Holy moly. Here I was stuck at that one bottle rocket or rocket looking launcher thing and I was like how do I get this rocket? I need this rocket. And here I am lo and behold finding a bottle rocket in a box that I actually need to use and give to Hopefully we're going to give that to PP and he'll join our party. Um, I'm just going to look around here a little bit longer and see if there's anything else of note before I leave. Because otherwise I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I want some rope. I actually kind of want that. I don't know. I don't have anything to get rid of though. Not really. As much as I would love to get rid of some of this shit. It's like these are all things I'm going to give to PP. So I don't want to get rid of them. Um... Yeah, unfortunate, but uh, we're going to have to leave the rope behind. We left a lot of good items in boxes here, <clears throat> which is unfortunate. Proper game design would warn that that other rocket was misleading. I mean, it would have been like, this rocket is broken. This rocket is useless. It would have said something like that, you know? That would have been a helpful note to know, you know? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, fight to the death here. I'll go ahead and respawn back at town when I die, so I'm just going to go ahead and fight here till I die, basically. There's no reason for me to sit here and try to backtrack out of here. This place was confusing enough to get through. Good luck trying to backtrack back out of here. But I'm going to keep exploring because clearly there's a lot more freaking doors that I haven't explored. <clears throat> I'm going to be sad for something like really good. Bread? Bread is nothing. Bread is nothing. I don't need your crumbs. Leave your crumbs at home, dog. Come on, gumpin' good. There was a Franklin badge. Another Franklin badge. So here's the thing about the Franklin badge. Is I don't think I can equip it, right? <clears throat> I don't think that's a thing, right? Like, I haven't really figured out how to equip things other than a weapon. But I don't even know if you can. <clears throat> like, you look at it and it's nothing... Like, if I look at it, legend says that Ben Franklin wore this reflective badge during his experiments with lightning. Like, I understand that that would be, like, an accessory, but, like, it doesn't really... I guess the fact that Funky G is holding it means that it's good enough. And yes, I haven't confirmed that yet, DJ, but I think other party members have their own inventory. That's how Earthbound was, so I'm thinking that's how this game's gonna be as well. <clears throat> Because when you go to goods, it actually shows Funky G's inventory. So hopefully, when I get another party member, um, P, assumingly we're going to get him pretty soon, he will hopefully be able to old, hold more shit. Yeah, the second badge is likely for him. You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to be sad if I don't have it, I think. So here's what we're going to do. See this bomb? Bye-bye. I'd love to keep the bomb. I'd love to keep the bomb. But I'd rather have the Franklin badge to give to P... So I don't, you know, so I have one for him and I don't have to come back here. Because <clears throat> my main goal is to not have to come back here to this fucking place ever again. Yay, Distorto can eat my balls. <clears throat> Alright, Scrapper Man, you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. What up, Sparty? Welcome in. How you doing today? Like, I understand the friend of the Franklin badge would be for another party member. <clears throat> but I'm just like, I didn't want to... I just don't want to come back here. I don't. I don't. And I really don't have anything else to drop, so... Hopefully I don't find anything else I want. And also, holy shit! That was a one-hitter quitter. That's okay. I've had enough of this place anyways. Let's just get back to town and go talk to PP, huh? Get a PP in the party, shall we? Sound like a plan? Let's go do that. Alright, PP. Where's the school at? I'm gonna go recruit a PP. Recruit a PP in your party. He's on the roof and he should be okay to recruit. What up, PP? Hi, I am P. I wanted to fly the bottle rockets that the sweet little factory was producing. Wow, this bottle rocket is sure to cause a bang. We may be able to make some more on our own. Come with me to the lab. 
Wait, to the lab? That better not have anything to do with the fucking factory I was already at. Come with you to the lab. I'm gonna hope the lab means, like, somewhere around here. Later, we should go to Duncan's factory. No, we shouldn't! I've heard they're constructing an incredible rocket. Wait. Do I really gotta go back there and see the other rocket now? Are you fucking serious? Also, when, when we're walking sideways, it looks like P actually has glasses. They call me names. Weakling or Four Eyes or worse. I'm sure that you've heard them. When he's standing facing you, he doesn't look like he has glasses. But when he's walking sideways, you can kind of tell he has glasses. This lab. Okay. Your bottle rocket in my... Great, isn't it? What? Whoa. What the fuck, man? Yeah, okay, good job. I guess P's in the party now. He's level one! Oh my god, he's gotta catch up. Boy's gotta catch the fuck up. Okay, can we give him the Franklin badge? Because that'd be great. P. Yeah, now he's got a Franklin badge in his goods. So, I think if I press over here, yep. I now have two inventories. Hallelujah. Alright, cool. That changes everything. Alright, I'm gonna give this to P. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna give this to P. And I'm also gonna take the bat and give it to P because maybe he can use it, but probably not. But let's confirm. Alright, so if I click laser beam use, nothing happened. If I click bottle rocket, use, nothing happened. Okay, those are items I gotta use in battle, I assume. It looked like glasses when he was facing you. Not to me. So he can't equip the wooden bat. So we're gonna have to get him, most likely, the slingshot. Which I think there's actually a slingshot here at school that I did not take because I didn't have space for it. I don't remember which room that was in, but it might have been upstairs in one of the classrooms. I think. Yeah, I don't think it was down here. I think it was upstairs. I remember there was like two boxes I couldn't open. Or I couldn't grab the item because I didn't have space. Now I got some extra space. Not that one. Which room was it, damn it? There it is. Alright, so hopefully I can grab both of these things. I think one of them is a bat. We'll sell the other bat. Plastic bat, we're going to sell that shit. Unless, of course, he can use it. But I'm assuming he'll be able to use the slingshot. Alright, so let's get that and give it to him and see if he can use it. The sad part is I think I'm going to have to do a little grinding. Because dude's going to die in like one hit to everything right now. Alright, so he's got a slingshot. Dope. No. It's mostly that other characters have dots for eyes. He has two big circles. Oh, okay. I see it now. I see it now. So, do you know why I didn't see it? I'm going to explain to you. If you look at his face right now, it looks like it's just two lines and a dot for a mouth. Like, he just has two flat eyes. That's how I looked at his face. Now that you're saying that it looks like glasses, I'm looking at it again. I'm like, okay. So, the rest of those pixels actually are circles for a glass glasses and not the edge of his hair in my head those are the edge that was just the edge of his hair you know what i mean but now i get it those are glasses now now i'm looking at him in a whole new light <laughs> all right anyway we got pee y'all we got a pee all right so i guess i have to go back to the fucking factory that's fun um i gotta fight some battles man he's gonna die if i don't he's probably gonna fly up and level pretty quickly though it's kind of like when you get Jeff in uh, Earthbound. He starts at level 1, I think, too. But you get him on his own, and then when he jumps to your party, he starts jumping up levels even faster. But when the hell are we going to get, like, other party members, man? I was expecting to already have a party member by now. We finally just got P. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, God, it's the bag, lady. Don't kill me, lady. Don't hit P. If, he, if she hits P, we're going to die. Or he's going to die. I'm not going to die. Cause see, he's only hitting for ones right now. we got to get him a few levels so he'll become a viable party member. Alright, P has advanced to level whatever. He's level 2 now. Maybe he'll go up more than one at a time. Also, what's up, RPG fan? The overworld theme has changed to being friends. Oh, shit. Did the overworld music change? I didn't even notice. 
Anyway, P went up two levels immediately. That's good. Yeah, he's going to start flying up in levels pretty quickly. So, can I use a bottle rocket on this? I probably have to use the rocket that's actually back at the factory. Still gotta go back to the factory and get that damn motherfucking rocket. But the good thing is I know it's on the other side of the of the dungeon because I went to the left side this last time and I found all sorts of new shit that I didn't have before. You know what I should do real quick? I should go store some shit. Because I got extra, or sell it even. I got extra bats and shit that I don't need. Since nobody else can use them anyways. I'm going to go sell them so I have more inventory space. There's no reason for me to hold on to this wooden bat now that I know that nobody else can use it. Because I'm assuming when we get the girl, she won't be able to use it either. So where the hell did the department store go? I need you. There it is. Most of the party members in the game are very weak. I mean, they're going to be weak when you get them, I assume. But maybe they get better as time goes on. Overworld theme changes from Pollyanna to being friends once you get another party member. Okay, I see. That's cool. It's a cool little detail. Oh, yeah. RPG fan. If you weren't here for yesterday's re redeem, Sparty redeemed me playing Duke Nukem 3D, which I plan to do next week. So get your butt buttholes ready for that, y'all. Um, flash, crack my card. Alright, I'm gonna sell this wooden bat as well. Wait, what? Oh, I gotta talk to her again. Hold on. Wooden bat. Yeah. Yeah, give me that money, girl. Alright. Um, I guess I'll just hold on to this money for now. I don't know. I am gonna save it. We'll use one dollar to save it. How much money do I got now? $5,000. Ooh, you know what? It might be worth it for me to check out what's what's for sale here and buy something now. Now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah. I got it. All right, hold on. No, don't talk to it. Goods. Cash card. Use it. Withdraw. Five four four two. You know what we're gonna take out? Five four four two. Taking it all out. And we're gonna go on a shopping spree real quick. I don't need any drugs. Sporting goods. Uh let me just talk to you real quick. What do you have again? Oh, they got an aluminum bat. That's right. I forgot about that. But the boomerang, I don't I wish you could tell me who could use what. Because if P could use a boomerang too, I'd just buy him one. I guess I could test it out by taking it off of my main boy. Uh, foods? I don't need foods. I want other things. Variety goods. I think the store I'm thinking of are the ones in Magic Hand. Stun gun? I feel like stun gun's gonna be like a one time use thing. You know what? I'm not buying none of this shit. Pass. Pass. The stuff I was thinking of. Is all sold in Magic Ant. That's where I was thinking of. So never mind. Store my money back. Never mind. I do have the Onyx thingy to go back there. You are right. But I don't care that much. I thought it was just here at this store. That's fine. If it's not here at this store, it's not important for me right now. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Going back to the factory then, y'all. Here we go. The adventure continues. Back to the fact. Back to the fact. I'll recognize being friends from Smash Bros. Melee when you play the Onet stage. It either plays a medley containing being friends or Pollyanna. I probably will recognize it then. I'm trying to be able to hear the music, but I'm talking too much, you know? <laughs> Fuck an asthma attack. And P is dead. Damn it. I shouldn't have fought this guy. Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. Jesus. Oh my god, the asthma attack is the worst. Every time I see this truck from now, I'm just gonna run for my life. Holy shit. I can't run? This is retarded. Oh my god. Can I please run? 
I guess I'm just dead. Asthma attack equals death. You just can't do shit about it. Wow. I'm just gonna keep trying. If I die, I die. I just stored all my money anyways, like whatever. Wow. One truck ruined us all. Boo. Alright, well, I don't know how much money it's going to take to revive Dead Boy over here. Probably not a whole lot because... Uh, also, I didn't have any PP. I forgot to... Uh, forgot to get my PP back. Let me take out like 200. I don't know how much it's gonna how much it's gonna cost to revive him. I'm gonna go find out. You'd say only one of the party members in this game is actually good, and it's neither of these two, especially compared to the ones you get in the second and third games. Well, yeah, I would say the party members in those games are pretty good. Well, most for the most part, they all have their own uses, obviously. Uh, revive. Do I talk to you? First, show me your money, and I'll treat you. Well, in your case, I'll have to bill a hundred dollars. That's what I thought. Okay, I can take that. T. Oh, wait, what? That didn't revive him. What? I gave you a hundred dollars for what? What did I give you a hundred dollars for? Wait, how the fuck do I? How the fuck do I revive people then? I thought... I'm very confused. I'm very confused right now. Because I'm going to go stay at the hotel and I bet you money I won't... He won't revive from that. How do I revive the dude? Oh my god. How do I revive the dead dude? What the fuck? I'm confused, guys. I'm pretty sure I don't have any Psy moves that'll revive him. You can tell me, RPG fan, because I thought it would be at the hospital. Where else would it be? You can tell me this one because I thought it was just a hospital. If it's not the hospital, then what the fuck do I do to revive people? The hell? Talk to the nurse, not the doctor. But she said, who are you here to visit? And there's nobody there. Look at Who are you here to visit? Oh. Okay, now I know how much money it is. Never mind. I didn't see the little scroll thing. My bad. My bad. Wow, talk about wasted money. How the fuck are you going to charge me $100 for nothing? Seriously, what did he even treat? He didn't treat shit. He didn't treat shit. I'm mad now. Bastard. Whatever. It's only $100. Like, in the grand scheme of how much money I have at the moment, it's not that big a deal. Anyway, I need 190 it said. Uh... That's 155. Booty sauce. <clears throat> Dumbest shit ever, dog. At least he has all his HP bags. So that's good. All right, we need to not fight that truck ever again. Cause f that. That was no bueno. Don't want to fight that truck. Little saucer, I'll fight all day, twice on Sunday. But I'm not fighting that goddamn truck ever again. Fuck that. At least not. No, not ever again. Fuck that. Unless P is gonna be an amazing fighter, which she's probably not gonna be. 
Oh my god, what did I just say about the truck? Get out of here, dude. Run for your life. Oh man, we had problems with this fight before too. If I kill the fugitive, it's not as worrisome, I suppose. Alright, the rope's annoying too. But the rope doesn't actually do any damage. It just ropes you. Alright, that's fine. Bind, bound P all you want. It's interesting that the most iconic music from the series that appears in Smash Bros. is from this game, especially since it didn't get a Western release till 2015. I kind of agree on that. But then again, a lot of the music in this game is also in, Mother in uh, Earthbound. It's just remixed and different a little bit. The, the, the basic tunes are still kind of the same. You remember the rope and the train being a pain in the or the truck being pains in the ass? Absolutely, they are pain in the ass. I agree on that wholeheartedly. But anyway, P is going to keep flying up in levels. Absolutely he is. I just don't want to fight the truck. Anything else is fine right now. At least until he gets bopped once and then he dies. But until then... We'll just keep on trudging on back to the factory. Just don't get roped into fighting it. <laughs> hey, look, it's a big teddy bear. He's so adorable. And, oh my god, almost killed him in one hit. Almost killed him in one hit. Got him. Bear became quiet as fuck. Put that bear in its place, dog. Boy's level 6 now. He's flying up in level. He gonna catch up in no time. Not true, but... We can dream, can't we? I might as well just heal him all the way, honestly. Being friends doesn't appear in the others, but Pollyanna, shop theme, and another theme we'll hear later have appeared in every game. Makes sense, then. Oops, this is not the way to the factory. I need to keep going more up. Factory, we're going back to the. I wish I didn't have to return again, but I'm here again, and I'm sad, my friends. All right, so we got to get back to that damn room that has the damn rocket in it again. This is gonna be fun. All right, Distorto is dead. No, don't beam P. He's gonna die. Oh, he actually survived. Nice. Nice. Two smash attacks for the win. Let's go. Your never-ending spree of death and violence and hate is gonna tie your own rope. Tie your own rope. Tie your own. Hey! Don't come talking back to me. It took me a second to realize what words you were doing. Don't you talking back to me? Yeah, you gotta keep them separated. Hey, feel alright. Didn't mean to heal Funky G that time. Hey, I wasted PP. One of these battle themes that Funky is getting is also most of the Sanctuary Guardian song that became a meme. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Can we not have this battle over and over again? Because this one's dangerous. Can we get, like, any other fucking battle in this place? Any other fucking battle? Wow. These fools are just molly and pee, and I don't like it. What a waste. What a fucking waste. I'm about to just back the fuck track back the fuck track back out of here. Cause there's no reason for me to walk around here without him. What an annoying part of the game. It's like I have to grind. It's like I guess. Gotta have P catch up, you know? He stops dying so easily. Oh my god. Barbot. The hippie battle theme, the Chuck Berry sounding one, was used in Earthbound as well. Yeah, I seem to recall that 
that song being in Earthbound sounded familiar. Like I said, a lot of these tracks sound familiar. Anyway, Funky went up a level. Nice big chunk of HP and PP bumps. I love it. Level 20, by the way. Fucking killing the level game. That inadvertent leveling I did last time walking around this fucking factory. It's ridiculous. Better make that eagle quiet. Tell him to shut his fucking face. Just trying to get back to town, y'all. Wish I could just teleport. Not really an option, unfortunately. I mean, the teleport I could do is just die, but... The speed at which it would take me to die is just as fast as doing all this, I guess. That's not entirely true. I have to find an enemy who will actually destroy me. Which... Would be back at the factory! But all these fucking fights we're getting now... Be great to have P in the party for this. So I need a revive spell too, man. <sighs> Just annoyed right now because I gotta go back and get money too. Just don't make me fight the fucking truck. Bag lady, I'll, ba I'll bop, but fucking truck, no thank you. Yeah, yeah, weak ass bag lady, we know. You're weak as fuck. Get out of my hands. Shit, this episode's gonna be the title. Something that has to do with fucking P needing to level up, I guess. Because holy shit. Psycho car! Great. Great. Now we have another asthma attack. Fucking great. Do any of these heal asthma? I don't think anything does, man. I think we're fucked. I think death comes to us all. Once the asthma hits, it's game over, y'all. I don't think it ever ends. I don't think it ever ends. You're right. When I named him P, I had no idea how much he was going to piss me off. But also, he's not really pissing me off right now. The only thing that pisses me off is not really his fault, right? It's not his fault he starts at level 1. It's whoever designed his game's fault. <sighs> Alright. I'll withdraw like a couple hundred. Like 300 maybe. Make sure I have enough to revive his ass and refill my PP, hopefully. I'm assuming the amount of money it takes to revive somebody keeps going up the higher level they get. I think that's how it was in previous games. Nope, still 190, alright. Might just be a flat fee in this town. Anyway, let's go stay at the hotel. Do I want info on the asthma? What? $130? Fuck you, because I have two people now? Oh, you are a fucking dick. Ooh. You can tell me about the asthma? Sure. I mean, it'd be the equivalent of having a manual, so go ahead. Tell me about the fucking asthma. Tell me all about it. You think P is the most useless character? Like he's a much adver weaker version than from of Jeff from Earthbound? Well, I'm glad we got him first then. There's another useful item I can buy for the for the asthma? Oh, I didn't know you were going to say something like that. I thought you were going to tell me about the status effect or something. I'm assuming it's something I can buy back in Magicant, because I don't really have anywhere else I can buy it. Unless it's like a status effect... Like a, 
a, a healing item that can heal asthma. Which I guess I could see that. I want to go back to the area between the factory and here. Because I don't want to fight trucks and cars. That should is just death to me. Trucks and cars, man. They're death. They're the death of me. Fucking seriously. Oh my god! Well, maybe I'll just beat him up. Because fucking my life... He would have been dead already if I attacked him. I just don't want him to use the exhaust move. Because that's the move that murders me. Also, P's actually doing 5 damage, so that's good. I should just go for the kill every time, honestly. It'd be just as safe as trying to run, clearly. Not even sure you can get another party member before him. You can't remember now how the progression works. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just figured the girl was going to get recruited first because when we named all the characters, she was named before P. And also, they she has already been mentioned. Um, she got mentioned when we were back in the first town of the game, back in Podunk. Uh, there was a girl who told me a prophecy that there would be a girl who would join my team and she would be helpful to my adventure. She didn't say who it was or where she would be, but she said she existed. You admittedly don't have a lot of experience with NES RPGs, but I imagine this game is pretty damn grindy, even for that console. Nah. I mean, yes, but I think every game on the NES, every single RPG game on the NES that has random battles like this is pretty much exactly like this. Like, if you play Final Fantasy Original on NES, it's very much like this. Uh, Dragon Quest on original NES, very much like this. Um, I did play that Sweet Home game, which is the one that did not come out in the US, but it was Famicom. That game had, I think, a less encounter rate than this game did, so that was nice. I'm trying to think of what other NES RPGs I've actually played. that are like random battle types. Not a whole lot. There's not really a whole lot of them, to be honest. All right, so now we're gonna walk around here for a little bit. He's level what now? Seven? If we could get him to like level 10, I think I'd feel better about that. And that encounter with the doctor and the robot is dangerous. That's the one encounter I don't wanna run into. And of course we ran into it twice Right when we walked into the fucking factory last time. It's interesting as Fantasy Star 2 is technically a 4th gen game, but it's more grueling than a lot of NES RPGs. 4th gen? What's considered 1st gen? Fucking Pong? <laughs> I guess Fantasy Star 2 is Sega Genesis. Genesis and SNES are 4th gen? Is that correct? I guess I don't know which one, which, what the gens are, Jesus. Like 16 bit is fourth gen. I guess I, in my brain that makes sense to be the third gen, because Atari would be first gen, like that level of graphics. But what's first gen if, if 16 bit is fucking. Is it just because it's the, like, two to the fourth power, or third power, or, yeah, fourth power? Two to the fourth power is 16? Is that why it's the fourth gen? Is that how they do the gens? Okay. Jeff, Jeff. I'm gonna keep calling him Jeff, probably. Fucking P... Wow, we're fighting a crow. Freaking Area 1 enemy. That's crazy. Um, P over here, level 8. Just want to get him to level 10. That'd be great. Probably faster in the factory. In fact, I know it would be. But I don't want him to die again. Before I 
to walk my ass all the way back again. But these crows are useless. They're only like two experience. First gen was the Magnavox, Odyssey, and some other random consoles out of that era. Pong, Tank, Breakout. Gotcha. One bit graphics. Or I guess two bit graphics. Is that how they is that how they math out the generations? Is it really the, like two to the whatever power for the bits or whatever? Is that really how it is? Because I just I just came up with that in my head, but I, that actually might be how it's broken down. I'm finding some weak ass enemies over here all of a sudden. What the hell? I don't want to fight any of these things. I'm about to go to the damn factory. The snack. I'd rather the bear show up. What the fuck? We have not fought a skunk. Or have we? Wait, did we fight a skunk? I don't remember now. You know what? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. That's the first time I fought a skunk by itself. The other skunks I fought were in groups of two. Also, enjoy your lunch, DJ. For some reason, I, I saw the skunk and I was like, I don't remember seeing that sprite. I did. I did. You don't think so because N64 and PS1 are 5th gen games, it's just in the order of the console generations? I gotcha. Well yeah, I guess because 32-bit would be the next gen there, and how many 32-bit consoles are there? Not very many. I think 32-bit consoles are like, what, Sega Saturn? That kind of thing? before he die. But he's gonna go up some levels for sure. Heal the pee! I need to, I'm just gonna heal him again. Because if he die, then I gotta walk all the way back again. So He's only got 50 HP right now. His last level up, he didn't get any HP. God, you're useless. He's just gonna be shitey the whole game, isn't he? PK fire! And he forces... Oh, I was going to say, a force is going to target P. Oh, it's an all hit. Great. I love it. I love when they're all hits. That's the best. Right now, we're technically on the 9th gen with PS5 and Xbox X. Series X. Switch is technically 8th gen. There's an overlap... There's often overlap between gens because of that. Well, yeah, Nintendo definitely doesn't necessarily keep up with the gens anymore. Not that they ever really did. Like I just mentioned, Sega Saturn, I think, was the only 32-bit console that I could think of that actually came out and was re relatively popular. I don't think there was Nintendo even had a 32-bit console. I just jumped straight from 16 to 64. just want to get that boy to level 10. I mean, I don't really have to grind it out. I only am doing this because I'm just trying to be safe. But I guess I could just be pushing straight to the end of this and just let myself die otherwise. Might as well. Die, old robot. Beep, bop, bo bop. Kill that robot. He's level 9, y'all. Can I get some HP this time? That'd be great. 2 HP, woohoo. He's 52 HP now. He's killing it. Killing the game. At this point I do I just want I actually do want all these fights. I want these level ups. Cuz if P's going to sit there and hit one one damage, it's going to be useless. God, the counter right here is dummy. Dummy dumb. Sega Saturn counted as a 5th gen console, though it was technologically 
behind PS1 and N64. Likewise, Dreamcast was considered 6th gen and came out well before PS2 and GameCube and Xbox. Interesting. Because in my head, I would put the Dreamcast on the same level as uh, of PS1 and an N64 in terms of its capabilities. But I guess it was slightly better. It was like that in between. Sega always hit fitting in that in between. You know what I'm saying? Sega Saturn was the only big console that kind of came out the in between. And it's funny because I actually had Sega Saturn. Well, my brother had it, but we had one. But we didn't have a ton of games for it. Sega Saturn is a console I'd love to play some games for at some point, though. I have at least one RPG in particular I have in mind that I should do. Could be fun. I think I'll use an emulator if I do Sega Saturn, though. Because the Sega Saturn these days has issues saving on the console because of like it has an internal battery thing. Very annoying. So better to just use an emulator, I think, if I can get it to work. Plus, a lot of games on Sega Saturn are rare to get a physical copy of anyway, so... Yeah. Panzer Dragoon Saga is also on the list, but that was not the game in particular I was thinking of, RPG fan. It's weird how some of these are categorized, but a lot of time it's more about the time frame than the capabilities. That is weird. You would think it'd be just capability-wise, but whatever. Whoever labeled the gens, labeled the gens however they labeled them, I guess. It's literally just a label. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect anything, that's for sure. Alright, got rid of the dumb doctor right away. This is the only fight that really worries me when I'm in here. If I can get to the point where I'm just killing the doctor in one hit every time, that'd be super. Can't wait till I get life up beta too. Jeez. Get one big heal all in one go. That'd be nice. I think I'm going the right way to get to that one rocket. I think it's up here. I recall this being the semi-correct direction. You've also seen them label PC and arcade games as part of generations based on the years of release. Yeah, that doesn't even make sense. Gens, to me, always pertain to consoles, so I don't even know why anybody tries to put gens on PC anything. Or arcade anything. Those are their own thing, man. Kill the bomber! Well, it's like, gens don't really... Like, the games... What I'm trying to say is games don't really quantify the, the generations to me. It's more so the consoles themselves. That's all I was trying to say. Fuck. Fuck. Holy crap. I'm glad P survived that because holy shit. This is the other battle I was a little bit worried about because this guy hits hard with his bomb. But we survived. Whew, that was close. Close call. But we survived, baby. Even one in one console, games at launch and at the end change so much. I agree, but I'm just saying, if you're gonna label the gen thing, I always, I always associated it with consoles specifically, regardless of the games on them. You've seen lists of tops stuff from top ten games of each generation in order, including PC and arcade games as well. They put them within the time frame. That, I mean, that would make sense if you're just going from games per generations. I, I I I understand what you guys are saying. I just don't. In my brain, doesn't associate PC games with generation. That's all. Even though it's obvious that we should, because computers have only gotten better, also, and the games upon them, also, gotten better. Alright, so I don't know if we're at the room with the rocket yet, but any free items that I didn't pick up last time, I'm going to pick them up now. Got my bread, y'all. Alright, 
Alright, that... I don't know which item that was, but I already got it. Smashed him. More robot murder, please. Sometimes it's more used as a way to divide up arrows. I get it. I get it. Even then, you mostly hear like N64 PS2 air. Yeah, exactly. That's. <laughs> I'm more likely to refer to stuff that way too. I almost never call them six, five, fifth, five, fifth, five gen. I never give them a number. Pretty much never do that, personally. Kill the doctor. Oh man, he went first. That was no bueno. Thought I was faster than him by now, but no. Just don't kill P and we'll be fine. Alright, we're good. For example, you remember Watch Mojo did a series of videos on that about 10 years back, and they included stuff like Secret of Monkey Island as a third gen game, Half Life 2 under a sixth gen game. I gotcha. Makes sense. I don't remember where that rocket was at, but we're going to be looking for it for a while, I think. So wait, did I go the wrong way? Because this is where I got, this is the rope and the bread that I left behind last time. I missed a turn somewhere. I definitely missed a turn. Because I think that other room I opened up was the one that had the, the, uh, what's it called? The Franklin badge. factory sucks that's all I can say it's a very sucky place to be nobody likes you alright well whatever was in there I already got it I'm just gonna check all these fucking things cause I have no idea where I'm going now haha <laughs> you tripped and fell you dumb bomber you stinky dumb bomber. And now you're dead bomb. So ha 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 ha. Fuck boy. Yes, I understand why you don't like this place, RPG fan. I already had enough trouble last time just tra traversing it and then finding out I missed a whole, basically a whole section of the area. Come to find out I missed so much. And now I can find out I had to come back here even after I found what I came for? Like, that's even... That's double annoying. Double annoying. This is the the most widely hated dungeon in the whole series? Wow. Well, I was hoping this was the rocket room. It's not. It's the life of cream room. Because we need more of that. I'm actually not mad at it, but... Not what I was coming here for. I kind of wish I didn't throw away anything while I was here last time now. For, like, to pick up some of these items. In hindsight, it was pointless because I had to come back here. Alright, so I've gone all the way across here from this direction. I'm about to look up a fucking map of this place. I've already found everything here before, at least once. At this point, I'm just like, where the fuck? Where the fuck? It's 
a fucking miracle that P has survived this long, honestly. But at least he's gone up a few more levels. Because last death, I think he was at level 7. So I've gone up four levels since then. I can't tell if it's raining outside or if it's just windy. It's like I hear the brushing on the window. I just can't tell if it's wind. Wind or rain. <laughs> At least it's not Fantasy Star 2 where this would basically just be like an average dungeon. True the fuck that. I was over Fantasy Star 2 so fast. So fast. And I feel like I'm going to feel the same way about Fantasy Star 3 when I finally play that. Fuck! How dare you dodge my attack, you whore. You bender-ass looking bitch. You respect that game for what it managed to for at the time, but you're not touching that game ever again. Same. I will not play Fantasy Star 2 ever again. Fuck that game. Good enough, but not something I would ever want to play again. I kind of feel the same way about all the Dragon Quest games I've played, too. Enjoy them all one time. I will never play them again. I have no desire to play them again. The six that I've played so far, anyway. Maybe one of the later ones will change my mind. You actually haven't played Fantasy Star 3 yet? But you hear it's easier than two, it's just dull. Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind. I always seem to hear that it feels like it's the odd one out when I hear about Fantasy Star games. Three never gets mentioned. And Fantasy Star 4 I haven't played. So, uh, everyone says it's one of the best Genesis games. Period. One of the best RPGs of all time. Period. I'm like, man, that's high praise. I'll have to play this video game. But Fantasy Star 3 first, unfortunately. It's one of your favorites of that era behind Chrono Trigger and FF6. That's fair. I think a lot of people agree with you on that, so that's fair. All right, you old robot fuck. Kill him. Kill him, Anakin. Dude's already got over 1,300 experience from just being on our party for the last hour. Not even an hour yet. So you better dodge that old man's attack. He can't hit you. He's too old and slow. Somewhere behind or between Ocarina of Time and Shaq Fu. Oh, yeah? Somewhere between those two games? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Quite a spectrum, I would say. Alright, Scrapper. You're going down, Scrapper! Yeah, give him that crit hit to the fucking bendy ass dome, son. Get it. Give me P level. Give me another P level, baby. Give can he get a good HP bump for once? Not a fucking plus two. Plus nine. That's a good bump. All right. I like that. Come on. Okay. You know what? This feels like it's the right way to the rocket. I remember it being a long, windy path. I do. I've been attacked by Peter Lorre and the and the Tin Man. Oh no! Fucking Peter Lorre, old ass actor. So, what does the Life Up Cream do exactly? Let me double check because I might want to use one. Used to heal wounds. Is it used to heal? 
HP? Okay, it's big heels. Got it. Big heels. Noted. This is definitely the path to that rocket. I remember this long ass windy path. This is what I've been looking for. It loves the life up cream. It rubs the life up cream on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. Whoo! The smash attack scared me. I thought he was gonna die for sure. I thought he was gonna die for sure. Please kill the robot. Yo, P got that smash 13 attack. Let's go. 13 damage. Good lord. Hilarious that he got a smash that did 13. Alright, we're almost there. God damn it. Just stop giving me the battle with the two motherfuckers. One motherfucker, please. No two motherfuckers. I'm almost there, man. Just a long ass walk. Luminous is back, y'all. What up, player? Welcome back to the stream. How you doing? Just over here bashing my face on this factory once again because I have to, because fuck this game. Oh wait, here's the door. Hold on. Okay, that's not the rocket door. Where the fuck's the rocket door? Uh, oh, it's over here to the left. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Just gotta survive long enough to get to the rocket. <laughs> Kill it! Oh, hey, buddy. My little kitty just came back in the room. Haven't seen him since I got home from dropping Evelyn off at school. The rocket, we're here! We made it. P. P says, aim on the rock. Okay, one, two, three, fire. Okay, so that's how we blow up the rock. We did it, y'all. We did it. But yes, hello, Nacho. Good boy. I don't know what he's doing. I just saw him wander within my peripheral, but he ain't clawing on my leg or nothing at the moment. All right, guys, I blew up the rock. I think that's hopefully all we really needed to do here. I guess now we're just backtracking out and hoping we don't have to fight a thousand times on the way to do it. I kind of can't believe I just made it all the way back through that whole path without fighting. That was pretty insane. Gotti. That's Nacho Cat Funky? Oh, it's my cat. He's definitely my cat. At this point, you are now blind to progress. That's as much as you knew so far, DJ, about the whole rocket thing. Fair enough. I don't know where the fuck I'm going right now. I'm kind of exploring more just to make sure I've gotten everything here that I want. So I feel like I haven't gone as far to the right as I possibly can. I'd love to look at a map of this place later just to see how ridiculous the map looks. Because holy shit. These dungeons are so annoying. I've never been in a door that faces that direction. At least, not all the way on the far wall like this. I'll take an extra bomb. Absolutely, I will. I'm going to give that to my boy, Pee Pee. Save bombs for a boss level looking enemy, I suppose. Along with all of his other gadgets. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to try and find my way out of here. And if I die on the way out, so fucking be it. I'm kind of okay with it at this point. I got what I came for. <laughs> After you played Ultimate 2, it makes almost every other RPG possible you've ever played feel more tolerable. There's always that game. There's always that game for one, every person that you play 
and it makes you think, man, it doesn't matter how shitty every other game I play from now on is going to be, but that's the worst. Also, you just put, is that a link to the map, DJ? I will look at that map as soon as I'm done here. I'm not going to look at it yet for the sake of keeping it blind to get the fuck out of here, but I will look at that map when we are done with getting the fuck out of here. But up. This dummy ass map. Stop burning me, bro. It hurts. Fucking fireball douche. Hey, PP went to 13. And that's the only reason I'm glad we're still alive. More experience. More level ups. He didn't even get any HP that time. Lame. Okay, I don't think I ever went in this door either. Another treasure? What do we got? Anything good? Super spray? No idea what that is. Industrial strength insecticide. Oh, okay. Maybe it works on, like, big bug enemies? I'm going to guess that's the general use for it. <sighs> Ultima 2 was the most tedious, convoluted piece of crap RPG you've ever played. You spent most of your playtime stealing fruit from stores over and over again and killing a respawning NPC for gold. That does not sound like a fun time. Definitely not. Sounds like a real tedious, annoying time, really. I think the exit... we got to be pretty close to the exit. I forget how many ladders I climbed exactly, but... we got to be relatively close to getting the fuck out of here. I might be a little bit lost, I'm not going to lie. I just know we got to go down a lot of ladders. You're curious to try Ultima 2 just to see for yourself, Luminous? Well, you know, based on what RPG fan has said, you uh, enter at your own peril. Alright, looks like Funky's riding solo for the rest of this ride, but that's okay. We're almost out of here, I think. It doesn't even matter if I die because I have no more PP either. I'm gonna have to heal that shit back. Yo, I found the entrance. See ya. We made it, y'all. I actually backtracked out of there. Are you proud of me now, Mom? The only way to increase your HP in Ultima 2 is to bribe your king? What? The only way to increase your stats is bribing a specific NPC who has a 50% chance of not raising a stat. You never have to enter any dungeons, and most locations in the games are pointless. Experience and levels do nothing. Wow. What a fucking garbage game probably the kind of thing that's more boring than entertaining as a shit show yeah I wouldn't I don't think I will do any Ultima games on this channel ever to be fair I mean unless it's like the best one but I'm not gonna do any of them I have no plans everyone actually shits on 7th Saga but you didn't think that game was that bad I don't know anything about that one is that a, that's a Super Nintendo RPG right I feel like I have that one written down on my RPG list as like a let's check it out kind of game, but not necessarily like a to-do list. Oh, cool! A fucking car and a truck? Man! Just what I wanted to see. Fuck this game. Whatever, just give me my death. I have no more PP left anyway. Fucking P is dead. My PP is gone. Just give me my death. It's fine. 
It's one of those games that's uh, probably impossible without a guide because it gives you no indication to do anything. You're talking about Ultimate 2, right? Yeah. Seven Saga has one of the highest in random encounter rates. Yeah, those kind of games are annoying. I'm playing one right now. Everyone says Seven Saga is too hard. Okay, well, okay then. You can see the guys on the mini map so you can dodge encounters a little, but they eventually converge on you so you can't avoid them forever. I gotcha. I'll definitely have, I, Seventh Saga is definitely one on my, like, check it out list, so maybe one day I'll check it out, but it's not a, not a priority. I have a lot of SNES games that I haven't played over that one. 